equipment, a double boiler, because you need to melt the oils together before you put the cocoa powder in. Show us how that works. Oh, okay, sure. It's two pots that nest inside each other, one of which you put water in, and this one should be really over, not in the hot water. Um, and it means that the chocolate doesn't get too hot. If chocolate gets too hot, if you ever, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but if you just put some chocolate in a cup and you put it on the stove to try to melt it, it will almost certainly burn and taste like burned coffee beans, really, um, which is not my favorite flavor. So use a double boiler. Um, a measuring cup, measuring spoons, um, scale, and I'll come to that in a minute. I have been making this in a way that actually turns it out, out to be very cumbersome for breaking it up to actually eat. And so I've just invested in some forms. This will be the very first time I'm using these. I think these are probably going to be oversized for the size of chocolate that I want, and this would be a, a better size. But I'm going to try both of them. And to make it easier to pour the chocolate into the molds, I've bought this little thing. And we'll see how it works, because this is the first time I'm using any of these things. Is that it for equipment? Well, should I say something about the scales? Because okay. that's an unusual thing. Okay. In your all recipe books, give recipes, give ingredients by weight. And we're not familiar with that, particularly in the U US. Um, but this is a scale we bought in this country. And it's got the ability to, so this is what I'm going to measure my ingredients into. I can put it on the scale and then hit tear, which zeroes it. And then I can add my ingredients, and I know exactly what the ingredients weigh. 